Hi, my name is Jonathan Plisse. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use a counter pressure bottle filler. The great thing about the counter pressure bottle filler is one, it's made of stainless. Two, it purges out all the oxygen in your bottle with CO2. And three, it's easy to use. The basic functions are this three-way ball valve that you see here. Currently, it's in the off position. Here, on this side, is a gas in. On this side, is a beer in position. Also, this is a relief valve. The importance of the relief valve is one, it allows CO2 to escape from your bottle as you're filling it and purging it with CO2. Secondly, it's the overflow for when your, beer is, your bottle is filled with beer, beer can pour out from the relief valve. Let me just show you what I have here as far as preparation is concerned. I have a pre-sanitized bucket just so I can keep my counter pressure bottle filler sanitized. I have a bucket filled with pre-sanitized 12 ounce bottles. Also, I have a capper, which has a magnet on the end of it, holds the cap in place. I have a pot with sanitized water in here. I also have another pot for overflow once the beer comes out of the relief valve. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Let me demonstrate. I like to use star sand just because it's a no rinse solution. It's a one minute contact time. All you need to do is swirl it. Don't be worried about any type of residual foam. Adds no off flavors. There. Bottle sanitized. Now a little trick. When you're getting ready to go into the bottle with the filler, just turn it to the CO2 position. And now you're purging it as you're going in. Also, I prefer to wear protective eyewear because the bottle's under pressure. You don't need to, but I like to. Now what you hear is CO2 escaping from the pressure relief valve. You want to tighten it up a little bit. That way the bottle's under pressure. Now, let's fill it up with some beer. Turn it to the beer position. Turn the counter pressure relief valve, or excuse me, the relief valve to the counterclockwise position. And what this allows is one, CO2 to escape from the bottle, also beer to start going into your bottle. What's going on here is you can see since it's under pressure, you're not getting a head retention or a foam starting to come up. The CO2 is keeping it in solution. As it squirts out, turn it to the off position, take the filler out. Throw it into your sanitized bucket, grab your capper, foam will start to rise, cap on foam, and you're done. It's that easy. So if you have any questions, you can drop me an email at johnp at morebeer.com or go to our website, morebeer.com, or give us a call at 800 600 33 Cheers.